Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at fitting a SSD and more memory into a Lenovo G5080 laptop. Um, these machines have been fantastic value of late. Uh, I've bought a number of them for customers and set up quite a few of both the G50, uh, the B50 and the E50 models. Um, this particular one I picked up for £250 in the Black Friday sales. Um, in fact the cheapest one I managed to get hold of was a slightly different spec one which was £240 from Amazon. Prices are a little higher on them now but they're still good value machines if you can uh, find them around. So to start off with, one of the great things on this is it's dead easy to do some of this maintenance work on it. So fitting the SSD and memory, really simple on this. Um, you have these three screws along the bottom. So each of these easily comes out. So this particular model had a 500 gig hard drive and four gigabytes of RAM. To be honest, for most people that's fine. Um, I like having an SSD in for the performance boost. Um, certainly, particularly once you've got more programs installed, makes it a bit nicer to use. And you can see here we've got the slim hard drive. It actually has room for a full hard height hard drive, they just use a slim one in it. And here we have our space for our memory module. So simply push that in and push down to fit the memory. We can also access the wireless card if for any reason you wanted to change that. It does actually have an Intel wireless card in there as standard, so I'd be fairly happy with that. But if you want to upgrade it to one with additional radio support, that's great. We have four screws here, which hold down the hard drive caddy. And with that, we can now slide the drive to the side and lift out. Now with the drive removed, we simply have two screws on each side for the rails. One two And same again on the other side, one, two, and with these removed now, we simply need to attach them to our replacement SSD. And with that done, all that's left is now for us to slot the drive back into the machine. As so, screw the drive back into place and replace the back panel. 
I hope you found this video useful and um, be sure to check out the other content on my channel for more and subscribe if you want to catch up with what we're doing in the future. Thanks for watching.